Hey, my name is Mike. I'm a VP of Customer Success, and I recently changed from using Zapier to Trade.io. For more reviews like this, click below. Zapier and Trade.io are both integration platforms. So basically, instead of my software having an open public API and, and then connecting it to the API of another software, and it's all new and it's all custom and it's all from the ground up, with these two platforms, you can actually connect two different apps much more efficiently because they have an instance of their app on that platform. Trade.io is, it's a little more complicated than a tool like Zapier, uh, though I don't necessarily need, think that it needs a developer in order to set things up there. Uh, the advantages it has is it has much greater customizability. You can do a lot more with it than you could um, a software like Zapier in my experience. And also it makes it so a company like us can iframe a, a UI for the, the user to, to touch and interact with. And so I can embed that inside my platform and I can allow people to configure an integration, have different options that are exposed to them to fill in different data, but they don't necessarily know that they're touching, touching Trey. Whereas with Zapier, the end user really has to touch it, has to know it's part of the solution. It's not really a, a solution that's easy to white label for integration needs. Zapier is all about ease of use. Like I said with Trey, you don't necessarily need a, a really experienced developer to set things up there. With Zapier, especially for a starter integration, you don't need anybody with any sort of technical knowledge. It's very easy to use, it's very guided, it's extremely simple and personable, and it can be much more complex depending on how robust you want to make that integration. It's probably easier getting started with Zapier, but again, I think that when you get to the upper levels in terms of customization, of being able to white label it uh, and really make that experience your own, Trey hits that high level. Zapier is something that you can get started in a day. They've got this great Zapier University content that takes a novice user through. Uh, if I've got two apps out there, how do I set up trigger, the action, different events that are gonna happen in between, and there's that guided content that helps you to get there. But Trey, a little more time, but really, uh, if you've got a little bit of technical knowledge, after a few days, a week or two, you can be using Trey to great success. The top consideration when looking at a, a, an app like uh, Zapier or Trade.io is how you're going to use it. We still use Zapier sometimes for some of our internal needs. If I want to send data from one place to another, but it's internal use. We have a lot of customers that will use Zapier to connect our software to another piece of software out there, and it works really effectively for that. Again, simple to use, out of the box, but when we want to create integrations within our platform, and we don't want to go and, and build code around that integration. We just want to be able to set up a flow inside a system, white label that, expose it to our, our customers, and have them experience it like it's a built-in solution. Trey is much better for that. 